Hello everyone, we got a double whammy dev blog. It's the day of the dev blog today uh, for Enlisted. Number one in the new upcoming, these are actually, well, this one's for the next upcoming coming, uh, major patch, which should be like next week or so, something like that. Should be pretty soon. Um, so it's gonna be customization coming to Moscow, Normandy, and Berlin, but not Tunisia. So if you play Tunisia, stop. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're not getting it. I don't, I don't know. They just don't want to make the, the British, uh, they just, they don't have any clothes. All right. Um, but yeah, so customization is coming to these campaigns. Uh, that's really it. I mean, that's it. You can look cool now. Um, but I, I'm going to take a second, just kind of talk about my thoughts about customization. I'll probably do like a full video on this. Cause it is kind of like a big deal. Um, I think customization enlisted is really cool. I think it could be a lot better. I think that it's too expensive per soldier right now, especially since they don't transfer between campaigns. Like if I buy like a hat in Moscow, it doesn't go to Berlin, even though it's the same hat, which I don't know, is kind of weird, but also kind of makes sense. And they did a really good job. Like Gavin says, says it here in the battle pass, like in the battle pass, you do get a lot of like rewards. You get a lot of rewards, but it's enough to like outfit like two or three squads at most. And like, I mean, there's there's 12 campaigns, right? There's six campaigns, 12 factions, and stuff doesn't transfer. So, like, when it costs, like, $40 to outfit one squad, I don't know, that seems really excessive to me. Like, I would like to see them change it to where if I buy a hat in Berlin, then it goes for all of my Berlin soldiers. So then that way, it's, like, only, like, like you should spend $40 to outfit all of your squads in the entire campaign's from level one to 40, right? Like Assaulter 3s are going to have the same outfits and stuff that Assaulter 1s get, you know? Like, I don't know. It seems like they're missing out on money because there's just like, it's too expensive right now. It's like trying to sell, I don't know, like a premium squad for like $60 or something. <laughs> anyway, that's my thoughts on uh, on customization. Anyway, the next big thing is we have this cool event going on where you fight sharks. Okay, you don't fight sharks, but um, you do fight whales. So if you're a whale or you want to fight some whales uh there is this cool event going on it's got leaderboards if you end up um there, there's some random rewards so you can see here there's the random set of rewards so every uh 2500 5000 and 7500 battle points you earn in game will just get you uh one of these things here which is great because that's how they should always do these because that's that's great um and then if you're in the top 10 percent, you get this cool swordfish nickname decorator which is actually pretty awesome because, I don't know, a lot of these are not cool, but this one's pretty cool. I like this one a lot. So uh, you can get the nose art, you can get the nickname decorator, and you can get this uh, recycled portrait set. Uh, remember, you can only do these battles um, at a certain time. So from 14 UTC to 20 UTC and 0 UTC to 6 UTC. I don't know what time that is. Look it up. Uh, so there you go. Well, I do know what time. It's these times. But I don't know what time it is in your time zone. So look it up. The big thing with this, guys, is you have predetermined squads. So uh, I guess I mentioned earlier whales, but being a whale doesn't matter. It's just who's the best player because you get the same gear as the guy on the other team. So who is the better team? Who's the better players? Hopefully these squads are a little bit more balanced than previous events have been. But overall, it's a pretty cool event. You get some cool stuff and I like it. So yeah. Uh, also, if you quit games, you get penalties, which should be the base thing. So. All right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to get this info out there to you guys. We got some cool events going on. We got some a uh, little bit of a dev blog. It is the time of the dev blog since we're going to have an update probably in this next week or so. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of this updates, uh, enlisted updates and news.